Well, welcome and thanks for joining us today. Uh, we are going to talk to you about how data archiving services can kind of help you to reduce your total cloud spending and also help you to minimize potential business risk. So just a little bit about myself. My name is Lo Fan Lo. I am the Director of Product Strategy and Alliances here at Virtual Stream. I have roughly 17 years experience for SAP, uh, particularly in the data management areas. I work on SAP da HANA database, uh, SAP data services, and also SAP business objects. Um, together, I brought a great friend of mine, Mike Becker here. He is going to share some of the uh, real life firsthand experience he has seen and witnessed our customer gain benefits from implementing uh, data archiving solutions. Mike, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Yes, thank you, LaFon. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that I have over 25 years experience with, uh, with SAP and in the ERP space in general. I'm the sales director for Virtual Stream in the West, and I've gone through quite a few of these archiving projects and have seen them uh, from cradle to grave uh, and the benefits that they uh, have uh, for our customers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. So um, just really quickly to walk through what we plan to uh, cover uh, for the next uh, 20 minutes or so, uh, we'll definitely go through some of the most common challenges we have seen over and over again, working with our SAP customers. And then I will share a little bit time to walk through uh, our virtual stream data archiving services, give you an overview uh, to explain how we can help you to overcome some of those common challenges. And then at the end of the day, I promise I will uh, give the microphone to Mike and he is going to share the real life success story uh, for data archiving solution with you. So without further ado, let me just kick it off. Uh, so everyone talk about data, it's the new goal, right? And that is absolutely true. But keep in mind that it only is true if you can really make use of those data. If you are keeping too much unused and wanted and needed data in your live SAP environment, actually that's gonna do more harm than good to your organizations. Um, most of the SAP environments that we work with, it's they uh, been around for many years, like decades, right? And if you don't practice good data hygiene, um, having someone regularly do housekeeping, making sure your system is neat and, and tight, um, over time, we have witnessed our customer uh, will accumulate data, so much data, and, and definitely those data is no longer relevant to their uh, current business model. And that is a huge problem, right? Especially if you are considering uh, my modernizing uh, your SAP environment, whether you're thinking about moving it to the cloud or trying to upgrade to S4HANA. The larger the SAP environment you have, the more complication, the more risk and more cost is going to associate to your migration efforts. So let me just give you a quick example. Uh, recently, we helped one of our customers to migrate their SAP workloads from on-premise data center to the cloud. And this customer has never, ever done any data archiving. Their database is double digit terabyte of data. And I'm talking about very, very high double digit. If they don't do anything, it could become three digits. Just to copy their data alone, it can take weeks to do that. And not to mention that we also have to think about the planning behind the scene, right? We need to make sure that we have enough capacity to take care of that uh, such move. Uh, it's, a, it's a big move. I have to make sure that you have enough memory, enough CPU, enough network bandwidth to make sure that this migration is successful. And keep in mind, even virtualized environment has a limitation for HANA. So all these challenges, you have to really take consideration. Uh, and the other main key we hear from our customer, they wanted to upgrade to HANA database. It's really trying to gain system performance, right? Uh, no doubt about it, in, in memory database can definitely help you to achieve that business objectives. But the more data you have live in your live environment, your transaction query is going to take longer to filter out all those different noises, right? So even you make the investment, move to HANA database, you might not really fully uh, realize the true potential 
if you don't clean up your database size. Um, so definitely we uh, always recommend our customer to really seriously consider um, data archiving strategy, data management, uh, practice good data hygiene as part of your essential for your uh, digital transformation journey. So why data hoarding is so common if this is so painful, right? We have talked to so many of our customers that over and over again, they, they tell us the same story. They want to keep the data in their environments because they are just so worried that they would not be able to uh, access those archived data once it's been removed from their live system. And so they keep the data around just in case, right? So that it's this just in case is it's more like an insurance protection. They want to protect themselves, making sure that they're not violating any potential uh, government regulation or requirement. But what they did not realize, keeping those data in their system, the outdated data, inactive data in their environment, actually has the opposite effect. Um, the if you keep some of those data past the retention period that are required, you are 100% responsible and liable for anything happens to those data. And not to mention if those data contains sensitive information, like personal identifiable information. If you keep those data past the, agree, the, the contract agreement, you are violating the GDPR and data privacy law which means your company is subject for fine and potential lawsuits that can cost you millions of dollars. So it, it, it's quite um, surprising, you know, you wanted to keep the data, try to protect yourself, actually it's the quite opposite will happen to you, right? Uh, the last point I wanted to highlight is obvious, it's very obvious. The more data you have in your environment, uh, in your life system and definitely going to cost you more to maintain the environment uh, storage costs it's actually made up 30 percent of your at least 30 percent or more for your total car spending and if you also have to consider you have to hire more resource human resources to maintain an oversized uh, un, un, unclean uh, SAP environment right and your backups and restore is going to take longer and simply that's gonna impact your system uptime and availability, right? And potentially um, it will also take a lot longer for you to uh, uh, respond for anything related to your business need. And not to mention uh, if you are on HANA, as for HANA, the licensing cost is also would be more because SAP charge the licensing for HANA database based on the memory consumption and also your database size. So it is in your best interest that you wanted to implement the right data archiving strategy, making sure that you moved an inactive data out of your active system to, uh, as the very first step to help you to uh, simplify your migration journey, right? And it also help you to, uh, even you don't plan to move, it how you to uh, get way of the extra stuff, we how you to improve your overall system performance. If you choose the right tools, work, working with the right partners, make, uh, you can also make sure that um, uh, uh, you, you, you know, we, we safely remove your data from your environments and you can easily access to the, down the road. And uh, data archiving, it cost reduction is certainly is always the best arguments that we start that conversations. The bottom line is if you use the right partners, pick up the right solutions, you will realize the benefits, cost reduction in the long run. So we do have three main products today uh, that are specialized for SAP environment. So for those customers who want to modernize the environments and they have never done any data archiving in the past, we always recommend you to start with the right sizing product. Basically, we work with your organization, understand your business requirements. We will understand your priority. What is, what is, what is your objective, right? We help you to um, analyze those information and create a detailed report and a blueprint uh, help you to kickstart what's lay out the what's the best strategy for you to kickstart your data archiving uh, implementation strategy. If uh, you already have very clear 
requirements, know exactly what business modules you want to remove or archive. Certainly, certainly you can jump into the data archiving product right away. But if that's not the case, definitely consider right sizing uh, product first. For the data archiving products, we focus both the technical and functional archiving uh, capabilities. Uh, we, we have um, ability to help you to implement centralized data management platform. Uh, we can help you integrate SAP ILM to, uh, uh, from a gov data governance perspective. Um, what I really want to highlight our differentiation is here, right? Uh, Virtual Stream is a managed service provider, so we are not a vendor just tend to get in and get out. We, we like to stick around to make sure that you have a long-term success. Uh, with that being said, so what it means is after the project implement, we, we continue, we support you. We have a dedicated team how you to execute the data archiving jobs to make sure that your archival objectives are being met on a regular basis. We also are using a proactive approach, identify potential, additional potential that where we can help you to continue to optimize your environment. Um, also, if you... Um, wanted to, let's say you, you have those legacy system, you want to completely get way of it. We have a product cost system decommissioning products that we can safely uh, sunset those legacy system, uh, either for uh, saving, cost saving reason or for uh, may maybe you have a security and compliance concern running those legacy environment uh, system in your environment. Um, I want to highlight one thing, right? Right now, we're doing a promotions. We offer a free data assessment workshop for qualified customers. So basically, what it, what it means is we, uh, we will work with you uh, doing high-level assessment on your environment. We help you identify um, to understand the age of your business data, identify where you can do a quick win, where's the biggest win that where you can um, uh, 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 gain from the data archiving implementations. So if you are interested to learn a little bit more, see if this is a product for you, definitely reach out to Mike and I uh, after these sessions. So let me just quickly summarize what we have discussed so far, right? So the true benefit of data archiving doesn't stop from here, but at least I want to call out some of the major key benefits. We can certainly help you to simplify your cloud migration journey. It can help you to improve your overall system performance to get rid of some of those unused and needed data in your life environment. It can help you lower, we can help you to lower your total cost of ownership, reduce your overall IT operational cost. It can certainly help you to improve your system availability to increase your system uptime. And finally, it's very important to know that it's not just about the cost perspective. We also help you to significantly reduce your business risk because we know what is the right data you need to keep in your life system and where is the data that need to be moved to a lower cost environment, yet you can still fully access and utilize those data if as needed. So without further ado, I would like to pass this over to Mike and let him talk to you a little bit about some of the real success story we have uh, seen with our customer at Virtual Stream. Thank you, Lafon. Uh, yes, I'd like to bring up a couple of examples. Um, and uh, with the time that we have uh, left, I'd like to say that uh, there are some key moments when uh, this type of data archiving can and should be considered. Uh, one, we have several customers and across the board, the use cases that, that uh, are probably best are best fit for this is when uh, customers are on ECC, they've been on ECC for quite some time and they're considering going to S4 HANA. Uh, at that point, of course, we don't wanna bring over uh, any more data and put it into a hot, uh, a hot HANA environment uh, due to the fact that uh, S4 HANA is largely based uh, its cost on, on its in-memory uh, size. And if we bring all the data over, that can sometimes be very overwhelming. Plus, the growth of S4 HANA over time uh, can, uh, can be quite uh, onerous in its cost uh, without realizing it before you get there. So the time to clean uh, the data, especially from a technical archiving point of view, is before the consideration of moving over to uh, S4 HANA from ECC. Uh, for those that are adopting S4 HANA, uh, the, the best time to put these practices in place are, is right at the beginning, uh, before they realize the uh, large impact of S, uh, S4 HANA in memory costs in a hot store environment. So when we do that, we're able to reduce your in memory costs right uh, at the beginning 
and with the automated capabilities with SAP uh, ILM, uh, plus the maintenance uh, service that we provide, uh, the data will be automatically archived based upon triggers and dis discussions and decisions that are made with the business of our customers to ensure that we meet the uh, GDPR requirements and compliance requirements of your particular in industry. Uh, so with that, we're able to uh, save quite a bit of, uh, of cost that otherwise may not have been realized when the decision uh, was to go to s uh, from ECC. Uh, again, uh, Lofan brought up one example earlier. We most recently had a customer uh, that we're currently in the, in the middle of with their project uh, that had technical data as far back as 1992. Uh, and that, of course, was an easy win. I might add, at this point, it's, it's wise to say that the return on investment with, with all of our customers are generally 10 months or less in, in its cost based upon in-memory uh, costs with, uh, with S4HANA uh, in particular uh, and storage costs, especially when you think of production uh, costs with uh, replicated uh, data that has to go to the secondary data center, whether it's on-prem or in the cloud for that matter. So. Yeah, there are several areas of, of, uh, of benefit uh, to going uh, this route and using our archiving uh, capabilities and our managed service, and uh, as you can see them uh, here. Uh, but again, as we, uh, as we don't have a, a tremendous amount of time, we'd like to take this opportunity to present the capabilities, some of the, some of the highlighted key aspects to our project, and then take it offline when you have time and be happy to go into this in, in great detail with you when the time is right. Thank you, Lofan. So I guess with, the, with this, I would say that the, the key here is that we, uh, that whenever you have a, a greenfield environment, um, the, one of the biggest problems is that when you, when you start to use the system, especially S4 HANA with, uh, with its, I would say it's large load from an in-memory point of view, uh, what we have found is that the impact is, is extremely high uh, in fact, we had one customer that we did this project on recently that was growing at 512 uh, KB in, uh, in memory uh, increases every two months to meet the requirements of the growth of that business. It was, it's a worldwide uh, organization with uh, many factories and many transactions that, that caused this, this growth. And with uh, putting that in place, and even in that case, uh, also using PHANA, uh, we were able to reduce their overall spend in the long run. Uh, by by uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars, so that was uh, that was a big win for them and paid for the project very early on. Uh, there are some licensing uh, considerations as it relates to using ILM that may not have been licensed up front when S4 HANA uh, came into uh, comes into play in your contract discussions, which is something to be discussed. Uh, but that is certainly not one of the more uh, onerous uh, parts of the contract, and it's one. Uh, that's uh, required as part of the uh, as part of the consideration. So uh, again, the benefits are are many, uh, but certainly from uh, from the obvious ones like backup costs and and main storage costs uh, that goes down straight away. Uh, but the in memory cost is the one that's a bit hidden uh, that uh, most customers that consider going to S4 HANA from ECC uh, are not necessarily aware of right uh, at the beginning. So we wound up putting in a a cooler store uh, environment uh, where the data can be accessed and is uh, indexed against the main records in your uh, hot store environment uh, and completely retrievable, uh, but not, and so therefore not deleted, but is kept in a, in a cooler environment such that uh, when needed, they can be retrieved, but at a much lower cost. Uh, so thank you, LaFon. Thank you, Mike, uh, the great uh, story. Um, so I just want to quickly thank you once again so much for joining us today. Really hope you find today's um, sessions educational and hopefully it will keep it interesting. Um, if you wanted to learn a little bit more about our data archiving solution, definitely check out our data archiving data sheet. It's a short little document that pretty much capture what we discussed today and more. Uh, I know today's our focus is about data archiving, but that's not all what your stream do. Uh, we are best known to uh, have ability to manage some of the uh, most complex SAP environments. And uh, certainly we have a very comprehensive service portfolio. Come check out our website, take a look what we can do. If there's an interest that you want us to help you to optimize your SAP environment, 
uh, whether it's data, your disk, your operations, uh, please drop my and I an email. We would love to have this conversation with you. Uh, like I said, we are running a promotion right now for the free data assessment. If this is uh, interesting to you, uh, please reach out to us. We would love to talk to you more about this uh, offering. And with that, thank you so much. Thank you.